Justice for Jahan. It's something his mother, Alma Belcher, desperately wants. The Greenville native was murdered in his Georgia home in 2011. Since, the search for his killer has grown cold. And with the distance, his mother's quest to find answers continues to grow more difficult. Nicole Newman brings us this special report. Jahan, my firstborn son, when I was carrying you in my womb, it felt like a light lit up in me. Sitting on a park bench in South Greenville, Alma Belcher reads a letter she wrote to her late son, Jahan. It's been seven years since they were forced to say goodbye. It still hurt right to the day. You know, it seemed like, it seemed like it was yesterday when I lost my son. In the midst of her heartbreak lies unanswered questions as to who murdered him in cold blood. I don't have any proof. You know, I had a room, with, I heard a room that was his so-called friend. And what kind of friend would do another friend like that? On May 17, 2011, Jahan was found face down in his Jonesboro, Georgia home. And then I ended up going to his, um, his condominium. But I couldn't stay in there. Because my son was murdered right when you, when you walk in the door. So I guess he may have opened the door for someone to turn his back. He was discovered by his co-workers from LA Fitness. They grew increasingly concerned when he didn't show up for work. Jahan worked at the gym as its general manager. And he had left his Cadillac like Escalade parked at LA Fitness because he rode with someone to his condominium. And he was shot in the back in the head and left. Nine on your side reached out to the Clayton County Police Department during the course of filming this report. It's the agency investigating Jahan's death. The major of its criminal investigation division sent us this statement. Regarding Jahan Belcher's homicide, the investigation is still active. We are looking for two persons of interest. There is no other information that I can give you at this time without jeopardizing the investigation. For Alma Belcher, finding out new information on her son's case has been very difficult. You know, I call down there, but I really don't like to call down there because I get frustrated. Cause they tell me, well, somebody else on your son's case, and um, I'm gonna take your um, take his photo home over the weekend, and I'm gonna call you back Monday. Monday come, they never call. So when it comes to the investigation, these are the facts publicly known in the Jahan Belcher case. It's there where the trail grows cold and where Alma Belcher's grief deepens. I pay somebody to take me to Georgia. Cause I had never been to Georgia. I never flew on a plane. We flew my son back from Georgia, and we had his friend were here at my church, Philippi Church. The Belchers are longtime members of Philippi Church in Greenville. So after his service, Jahan found his final resting place at nearby Homestead Memorial Gardens. When I need to go, I can find my son. Right across from sheets. In the wake of her son's death, Alma says it's taking time, but she is slowly getting back to doing things she previously enjoyed. Just keep the faith and just stay strong. But most, most of all, what I miss about my son is when he would call me from Georgia and say he was on the way to home. Ooh, I would wash my hands, put my apron on, and stay in the kitchen almost 12 hours. But that just made me feel so good inside because he appreciate food. You know, I got two more sons. That was my first one. And I miss him every day. I wish I could call him on the phone. I wish I could cook him something to eat. When you passed away, I found out that Jesus was 33 and a half years old when he died, and so were you. I knew Jesus heard me. Now I'm on bending knees asking Jesus to reveal to the world the person of persons that chose to take your life. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Nicole Newman. Part two of Nicole's special report on the Jahan Belcher cold case airs tonight on 9 in Your Side News at 11. Here is brother and close friend recount their fondest memories about Jahan and the annual event held in just a matter of weeks that will celebrate his life.